I'm sitting here with Patient X. I have Patient X on the telephone. Thank you for calling in, sir. No problem. I, have a, I, I can't show my face, but I'm really glad for you having me on the air. Absolutely, sir. This is a pleasure, and it's quite an interesting... We're going to have an unflinching, incisive view into quite an interesting story that you have. Well, it's not really a story. It's my life. Exactly. For all of you who are about to hear this and uh, imagine it, you won't be able to unimagine it. And some of these next scenes that he's about to depict may not be appropriate for pencil dick adults. Should I start? Absolutely. Please take your time. Well, you know, I, I work at the textile factory across the street. I know it well. I use their parking lot. Yeah, I know the parking lot. And uh, I, uh, I work at the workbench, and uh, I can see all the other machinery and the gear where I work from. And uh, I got to tell you, you know my story. I do. Please, sir, take your time and continue. You're amongst friends. Thank you. This is kind of embarrassing. Don't be embarrassed. Well, I, uh, from where I work, I can see all the other machines and the gear. And uh, I know this is a little strange, but uh, I started thinking about sticking it in the paint mixer. Please, take your time. Yeah, well, uh, it replaced all my other ideas. You know, my wife, and she doesn't know. She probably still doesn't know. And what happened? Well, uh, I got to work early the other day, and I thought before anybody else got there, and uh, I pulled it out. I'm so sorry, but I walked across the, the floor, and I, I stuffed it into the paint mixer. And what happened? Well, I thought I was there early, but the foreman got there early, too. What a fucking mess. Oh, my God. What, but what occurred? Well, freaked the foreman out. And he fired me instantly. I'm so, I'm so sorry. I mean, what occurred with the paint mixer? Well, she got fired, too. <laughs> Hey!